Research has shown that for some cancers, screening for early detection most definitely saves lives. Examples are mammograms for breast cancer and colonoscopy for colon cancer. But not all cancers have screening tools that have been proven to work. Let's go to Mayo Clinic to learn more about screening for lung cancer. We've all heard and seen the warnings. Smoking causes up to 90% of all lung cancers, but roughly one out of four adults in the U.S. and Canada still lights up. And people who are lifelong smokers are at significant risk. Their chance of getting cancer is about 15%. Dr. James Jett and colleagues at Mayo Clinic are studying screening tools that may help detect lung cancer early while it's still curable. Way too many Americans are dying of this disease, approximately 160,000 deaths this year in the United States alone. The screening tool that may seem to hold the most promise is the spiral CT scan. I'll let you know when to hold your breath. This machine takes pictures of your lungs in slices like a loaf of bread. It can detect tumors as small as a grain of rice. It spots many more abnormalities than the chest x-ray. You don't see the cancer in here, but on the CT scan done within a few weeks of that chest x-ray, this nodule right here is the cancer. But Dr. Jett says just because the CT scan picks up more spots doesn't mean it saves lives. In fact, his recent study in the Journal of the American Medical Association reports that while CT screening detected more cancers at an earlier stage, the number of people who died from the disease remained the same. Perhaps CT screening does not detect cancer early enough. Plus, some people in the study had unnecessary surgeries to remove nodules that were not malignant. So if you're a smoker at risk of cancer, should you get screened? Dr. Jett says at this point there is no proof that a CT scan will save your life. But he's involved in another larger study that will hopefully give a definitive answer. I'm hopeful that's going to be a positive study uh, where it will show some decrease in the number of patients dying from lung cancer. Until the large-scale randomized controlled trial is complete, Dr. Jett suggests people at high risk talk to their doctors about the benefits and risks of screening. Right now, there is no major healthcare organization advocating CT screening for lung cancer. These groups are waiting until results are in from the large trial. In addition to CT screening, researchers are looking at blood tests and chemicals in exhaled breath as ways to detect lung cancer. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.